This is brought to you by The Praetorian. On YouTube, Facebook, and Anchor Podcast. In the fields of molecular biology and genetics, a genome is all the genetic material of an organism. It consists of DNA, or RNA and RNA viruses. The genome includes both the genes, the coding regions, and the non-coding DNA, as well as mitochondrial DNA and chloroplast DNA. The study of the genome is called genomics. Origin of term. The term genome was created in 1920 by Hans Winkler, professor of botany at the University of Hamburg, Germany. The Oxford Dictionary suggests the name is a blend of the words gene and chromosome. However, a few related own words already existed, such as biome and rhizome, forming a vocabulary into which genome fits systematically. Sequencing and Mapping A genome sequence is the complete list of the nucleotides, A, C, G, and T for DNA genomes, that make up all the chromosomes of an individual or a species. Within a species, the vast majority of nucleotides are identical between individuals, but sequencing multiple individuals is necessary to understand the genetic diversity. In 1976, Walter Fears at the University of Ghent, Belgium, was the first to establish the complete nucleotide sequence of a viral RNA genome, bacteriophage MS2. The next year, Fred Sanger completed the first DNA genome sequence, phage phi X174, of 5,386 base pairs. The first complete genome sequences among all three domains of life were released within a short period during the mid-1990s. The first bacterial genome to be sequenced was that of Haemophilus influenza at the Institute. A a few months later, the first eukaryotic genome was completed, with sequences of the 16 chromosomes of budding yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae published as the result of a European-led effort begun in the mid-1980s. The first genome sequence for an Archean, Methanococcus genasciae, was completed in 1996, again by the Institute for Genomic Research. The development of new... The development of new technologies has made genome sequencing dramatically cheaper and easier, and the number of complete genome sequences is growing rapidly. The U.S. National Institutes of Health maintains one of several comprehensive databases of genomic information. Among the thousands of completed genome sequencing projects include those for rice, a mouse, the plant Arabidopsis thaliana, the pufferfish, and the bacteria E. coli. In December 2013, scientists first sequenced the entire genome of a Neanderthal, an extinct species of humans. The genome was extracted from the toe bone of a 130,000-year-old Neanderthal found in a Siberian cave. New sequencing technologies, such as massive parallel sequencing, have also opened up the prospect of personal genome sequencing as a diagnostic tool, as pioneered by Mantia Predictive Medicine. A major step toward that goal was the completion in 2007 of the full genome of James D. Watson, one of the co-discoverers of the structure of DNA. Whereas a genome sequence lists the order of every DNA base in a genome, a genome map identifies the landmarks. A genome map is less detailed than a genome sequence and aids in navigating around the genome. The Human Genome Project was organized to map and sequence the human genome. A fundamental step in the project was the release of a detailed genomic map by Jean Weissenbach and his team at the Genoscope in Paris. Reference genome sequences and maps continue to be updated, removing errors and clarifying regions of high allelic complexity. The decreasing cost of genomic mapping has permitted genealogical sites to offer it as a service to the extent that one may submit one's genome to crowdsourced scientific endeavors such as DNA.land at the New York Genome Center, an example both of the economies of scale and citizen science. Viral Genomes Viral Genomes can be composed of either RNA
or DNA. The genomes of RNA viruses can be either single-stranded RNA or double-stranded RNA and may contain one or more separate RNA molecules, segments, monoparted, or multiparted genome. DNA viruses can have either single-stranded or double-stranded genomes. Most DNA virus genomes are composed of a single, linear molecule of DNA, but some are made up of a circular DNA molecule. There is also viral RNA called single-stranded RNA, serves as a template for mRNA synthesis, and single-stranded RNA, serves as a template for DNA synthesis. The viral envelope is an outer layer of membrane that viral genomes use to enter the host cell. Some of the classes of viral DNA and RNA consist of a viral envelope, while some do not. Class slash family adenovirus. Double-stranded DNA. Envelope no. Class slash family papillomavirus. Double-stranded DNA. Envelope no. Class slash family polyomavirus. Double-stranded DNA. Envelope no. Class slash family herpes virus. Double-stranded DNA. Envelope yes. Class slash family pox virus. Double-stranded DNA. Envelope yes. Class slash family parvovirus. Single-stranded DNA. Envelope no. Class slash family reovirus. Double-stranded RNA. Envelope no. Class slash family picornavirus. Single-stranded RNA. Envelope no. Class slash family coronavirus. Single-stranded RNA. Envelope yes. Class slash family flavivirus. Single-stranded RNA. Envelope yes. Class slash family tocovirus. Single-stranded RNA. Envelope yes. Class slash family filovirus. Single-stranded RNA serves as a template for mRNA synthesis. Envelope yes. Class slash family orthomyxovirus. Single-stranded RNA serves as a template for mRNA synthesis. Envelope yes. Class slash family paramyxovirus. Single-stranded RNA serves as a template for mRNA synthesis. Envelope yes. Class slash family rhabdovirus. Single-stranded RNA serves as a template for mRNA synthesis. Envelope yes. Class slash family retrovirus. Single-stranded RNA serves as a template for DNA synthesis. Envelope yes. Prokaryotic genomes. Prokaryotes and eukaryotes have DNA genomes. ArcGIA and most bacteria have a single circular chromosome, however, some bacterial species have linear or multiple chromosomes. If the DNA is replicated faster than the bacterial cells divide, multiple copies of the chromosome can be present in a single cell, and if the cells divide faster than the DNA can be replicated, multiple replications of the chromosome are initiated before the division occurs, allowing daughter cells to inherit complete genomes and already partially replicated chromosomes. Most prokaryotes have very little repetitive DNA in their genomes. However, some symbiotic bacteria, e.g. Serratia symbiotica, have reduced genomes and a high fraction of pseudogenes, only 40% of their DNA encodes proteins. Some bacteria have auxiliary genetic material, also part of their genome, which is carried in plasmids. For this, the word genome should not be used as a synonym of the chromosome. Eukaryotic Genomes Eukaryotic genomes are composed of one or more linear DNA chromosomes. The number of chromosomes varies widely from jack jumper ants and an asexual nematode, which each have only one pair, to a fern species that has 720 pairs. 
A typical human cell has two copies of each of 22 autosomes, one inherited from each parent, plus two sex chromosomes, making it diploid. Gametes, such as ova, sperm, spores, and pollen, are haploid, meaning they carry only one copy of each chromosome. In addition to the chromosomes in the nucleus, organelles, such as the chloroplasts, and mitochondria have their DNA. Mitochondria are sometimes said to have their genome often referred to as the mitochondrial genome. The DNA found within the chloroplast may be referred to as the plastome. Like the bacteria they originated from, mitochondria and chloroplasts have a circular chrom chromosome. Unlike prokaryotes, eukaryotes have an exonintron organization of protein coding genes and variable amounts of repetitive DNA. In mammals and plants, the majority of the genome is composed of repetitive DNA. Coding sequences DNA sequences that carry the instructions to make proteins are referred to as coding sequences. The proportion of the genome occupied by coding sequences varies widely. A larger genome does not necessarily contain more genes, and the proportion of non-repetitive DNA decreases along with increasing genome size in complex eukaryotes. Non-coding sequences Non-coding sequences include introns, sequences for non-coding RNAs, regulatory regions, and repetitive DNA. Non-coding sequences make up 98% of the human genome. There are two categories of repetitive DNA in the genome, tandem repeats and interspersed repeats. Tandem repeats Short, non-coding sequences that are repeated head to tail are called tandem repeats. Microsatellites consisting of 2 to 5 base pair repeats, while many satellite repeats are 30 to 35 BP tandem repeats make up about 4% of the human genome and 9% of the fruit fly genome. Tandem repeats can be functional. For example, telomeres are composed of the tandem repeat TTAGGG in mammals, and they play an important role in protecting the ends of the chromosome. In other, other cases, expansions in the number of tandem repeats in exons or introns can cause disease. For example, the human gene Huntington typically contains 6 to 29 tandem repeats of the nucleotide CAG, encoding a polyglutamine tract. An expansion to over 36 repeats results in Huntington's disease, a neurodegenerative disease. 20 human disorders are known to result from similar tandem repeat expansions in various genes. The mechanism by which proteins with expanded polyglutamine tracts cause the death of neurons is not fully understood. One possibility is that the proteins fail to fold properly and avoid degradation, instead of accumulating in aggregates that also sequester important transcription factors, thereby altering gene expression. Tandem repeats are usually caused by slippage during replication, unequal crossing over, and gene conversion. Transposable elements Transposable elements TES, are sequences of DNA with a defined structure that can change their location in the genome. TES are categorized as either class 1 TES, which replicate by a copy and paste mechanism, or class 2 TES, which can be excised from the genome and inserted at a new location. The movement of TES is a driving force of genome evolution in eukaryotes because their insertion can disrupt gene functions, homologous recombination between TES can produce duplications, and TE can shuffle exons and regulatory sequences to new locations. Retrotransposons Retrotransposons are found mostly in eukaryotes, but not found in prokaryotes, and retrotransposons form a large portion of the genomes of many eukaryotes. Retrotransposon is a transposable element that transposes through an RNA intermediate. Retrotransposons are composed of DNA, but are transcribed into RNA for transposition. Then the RNA transcript is copied back to DNA formation with the help of a specific enzyme called reverse transcriptase. Retrotransposons that carry reverse transcriptase in their gene can trigger its transposition, but the genes that lack the reverse transcriptase must use reverse transcriptase synthesized by another retrotransposon. 
Retrotransposons can be transcribed into RNA, which are then duplicated at another site into the genome. Retrotransposons can be divided into long terminal repeats, LTRs, and non long terminal repeats, non LTRs. Long terminal repeats, LTRs, are derived from ancient retroviral infections, so they encode proteins related to retroviral proteins, including GAG structural proteins of the virus, whole, reverse transcriptase and integrase, pro, protease, and in some cases ENV, envelope, genes. These genes are flanked by long repeats at both 5 and 3 ends. It has been reported that LTRs consist of the largest fraction in most plant genomes and might account for the huge variation in genome size. Non-long terminal repeats, non-LTRS, are classified as long interspersed nuclear elements, lines, short interspersed nuclear elements, signs, and Penelope-like elements, PLEs. In Dictyostelium discoidium, other DIRS-like elements belong to non-LTRS. Non-LTRS are widely spread in eukaryotic genomes. Long interspersed elements, lines, encode genes for reverse transcriptase and endonuclease, making them autonomous transposable elements. The human genome has around 500,000 lines, taking around 17% of the genome. Short interspersed, interspersed elements, signs, are usually less than 500 base pairs and are non-autonomous, so they rely on the proteins encoded by lines for transposition. The ALU element is the most common sign found in primates. It is about 350 base pairs and occupies about 11% of the human genome with around 1,500,000 copies. DNA transposons. DNA transposons encode a transposase enzyme between inverted terminal repeats. When expressed, the transposase recognizes the terminal inverted repeats that flank the transposon and catalyzes its excision and reinsertion in a new site. This cut and paste mechanism typically reinserts transposons near their original location within 100 kb. DNA transposons are found in bacteria and make up 3% of the human genome and 12% of the genome of the roundworm C. elegans. Genome size Genome size is the total number of DNA base pairs in one copy of a haploid genome. Genome size varies widely across species. In humans, the nuclear genome comprises approximately 3.2 billion nucleotides of DNA, divided into 24 linear molecules, the shortest 50 million nucleotides in length, and the longest 260 million nucleotides, each contained in a different chromosome. There is no clear and consistent correlation between morphological complexity and genome size in either prokaryotes or lower eukaryotes. Genome size is largely a function of the expansion and contraction of repetitive DNA elements. Since genomes are very complex, one research strategy is to reduce the number of genes in a genome to the bare minimum and still have the organism in question survive. There is experimental work being done on minimal genomes for single-cell organisms as well as minimal genomes for multicellular organisms. The work is both in vivo and in silico. Here is a table of some significant or representative genomes. Organism type virus. Organism porcine circovirus type 1. Genome size. Base pairs 1759 1.8 kb. Note, note smallest viruses replicating autonomously in eukaryotic cells. Organism type virus. Organism Bacteriophage MS2 Genome Size 569 3.5 KB Note First Sequenced RNA Genome Organism Type Virus Organism SV40 Genome Size Base Pairs 5224 5.2 KB Organism type virus. Organism phage phi X174. Genome size. Base pairs 5386 5.4 KB. 
Note first sequence DNA genome. Organism type virus. Organism HIV. Genome size. Base pairs 9749 9.7 KB. Organism type virus. Organism phage lambda. Genome size. Base pairs 48,502 48.5 KB. Note often used as a vector for the cloning of recombinant DNA. Organism type virus. Organism megavirus. Genome size. Base pairs 1,259,197 1 1.3 megabits. Note until 2013 the largest known viral genome. Organism type virus. Organism pandrovirus salinus. Genome size. Base pairs 2,470,000 megabits. Note largest known viral genome. Organism type human eukaryotic organelle. Organism mitochondrion. Genome size. Base pairs 16,569 16.6 KB. Organism type bacterium. Organism Mejuria delta cephalonicola, strain NASALF. Genome size. Base pairs 112,000 and 112 KB. Approximate number of genes 137. Note smallest known non-viral genome. Symbiont of leafhoppers. Organism type bacterium. Organism Carcinella redii. Genome size. Base pairs 159,662-160 KB. Note an endosymbiont of psyllid insects. Organism type bacterium. Organism Bucknera aphidicola. Genome size. Base pairs 600,600 KB. Note an endosymbiont of aphids. Organism type bacterium. Organism Wigglesworthia glossinidia. Genome size. Base pairs 700,700 kilobits. Note a symbiont in the gut of the fly. Organism type bacterium, cyanobacterium. Organism Prochlorococcus species, 1.7 megabits. Genome size. Base pairs 1,700,000-1.7 megabits. Approximate number of genes 1,884. Note smallest known cyanobacterium genome. One of the primary photosynthesizers on Earth. Organism type bacterium. Organism Haemophilus influenza. Genome size. Base pairs 1,830,000 1.8 megabits. Note the first genome of a living organism sequenced, July 1995. Or organism type bacterium. Organism Escherichia coli. Genome size. Base pairs 4,600,000-4.6 megabits. Approximate number of genes 4,288. Organism type bacterium, cyanobacterium. Organism nostoc punctiform. Genome size. Base pairs 9,000,000-9 .9 megabits. Approximate number of genes 7,432. Note 7432 open reading frames. Organism type bacterium. Organism Solobacter usitatus, strain LN6076. Genome size. Base pairs 9,970,010 megabits. Organism type amoeboid. Organism polychaos dubium, amoeba dubia. Genome size. Base pairs 670,670,670 gigabits. Note largest known genome. Disputed. Organism type plant. Organism Genlisia tuberosa. 
genome size. Base pairs 61 million 61 megabits. Note smallest recorded flowering plant genome, 2014. Organism type plant. Organism Arabidopsis thaliana. Genome size. Base pairs 135,135 megabits. Approximate number of genes 27,655. Note first plant genome sequenced, December 2000. Organism type plant. Organism populus trichocarpa. Genome size. Base pairs 480,480 megabits. Approximate number of genes 73,013. Note first tree genome sequenced, September 2006. Organism type plant. Organism Fritillaria syriaca. Genome size. Base pairs 130 billion 130 gigabits. Organism type plant. Organism Paris japonica, Japanese native, pale petal. Genome size. Base pairs 150 billion 150 gigabits. Note largest plant genome known. Organism type plant, moss. Organism Fiscomatrella patens. Genome size. Base pairs 480 million 480 megabits. Note the first genome of a bryophyte sequenced, January 2008. Organism type fungus, yeast. Organism Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Genome size. Base pairs 12,100,012.1 megabits. Approximate number of genes 6,294. Note first eukaryotic genome sequenced, 1996. Organism type fungus. Organism Aspergillus nigillans. Genome size. Base pairs 30 million 30 megabits. Approximate number of genes 9,541. Organism type nematode. Organism Pratolenchus coffee. Genome size. Base pairs 20 million 20 megabits. Note smallest animal genome known. Organism type nematode. Organism Cenorhabditis elegans. Genome size 100,300,000. Base pairs 100 megabits. Approximate number of genes 19,000. Note first multicellular animal genome sequenced, December 1998. Organism type insect. Organism Drosophila melanogaster, fruit fly. Genome size. Base pairs 175,175 megabits. Approximate number of genes 13,600. Note size variation based on strain, 175 to 180 megabits. Standard YW strain is 175 megabits. Organism type insect. Organism Apis mellifera, honeybee. Genome size. Base pairs 236,236,236 megabits. Approximate number of genes 10,157. Organism type insect. Organism Bombyx mori, silk moth. Genome size. Base pairs 432,432,432 megabits. Approximate number of genes 14,623. Note 14,623 predicted genes. Organism type insect. Organism Solenopsis invicta, fire ant. Genome size. Base pairs 480,480 megabits. Approximate number of genes 16,569. Organism type mammal. Organism muse musculus. Genome size. Base pairs 2,700,000,000, 2.7 gigabits. 
Approximate number of genes 20,210. Organism type mammal. Organism panpaniscus. Genome size. Base pairs 3,286,640,003.3 gigabits. Approximate number of genes 20,000. The genome size of 3.29 billion BP. Organism type mammal. Organism Homo sapiens. Genome size. Base pairs 3 billion 3 gigabits. Approximate number of genes 20,000. Note Homo sapiens genome size estimated at 3.2 pounds sterling in 2001 initial sequencing and analysis of the human genome. Organism type bird. Organism gallus gallus. Genome size. Base pairs 1 billion 43 million 1 gigabit. Approximate number of genes 20,000. Organism type fish. Organism tetraodon nigroviridis, a type of pufferfish. Genome size. Base pairs 385 million 390 megabits. Note smallest vertebrate genome known estimated to be 340 megabits, 385 megabits. Organism type fish. Organism Protopterus ethiopicus, marble lungfish. Genome size. Base pairs 130 billion 130 gigabits. Note largest vertebrate genome known. Gen Genomic alterations. All the cells of an organism originate from a single cell, so they are expected to have identical genomes, however, in some cases, differences arise. Both the process of copying DNA during cell division and exposure to environmental mutagens can result in mutations in somatic cells. In some cases, such mutations lead to cancer because they cause cells to divide more quickly and invade surrounding tissues. In certain lymphocytes in the human immune system, VDJ recombination generates different genomic sequences such that each cell produces a unique antibody or T-cell receptors. During meiosis, diploid cells divide twice to produce haploid germ cells. During this process, recombination results in a reshuffling of the genetic material from homologous chromosomes, so each gamete has a unique genome. Genome-wide reprogramming Genome-wide reprogramming in mouse primordial germ cells involves epigenetic imprint erasure leading to totipotency. Reprogramming is facilitated by active DNA demethylation, a process that entails the DNA base excision repair pathway. This pathway is employed in the erasure of CPG methylation, 5MC, in primordial germ cells. The erasure of 5MC occurs via its conversion to 5-hydroxymethylcytosine, 5-HMC, driven by high levels of the 10-11 dioxygenase enzymes TET1 and TET2. Genome Evolution Genomes are more than the sum of an organism's genes, and have traits that may be measured and studied without reference to the details of any particular genes and their products. Researchers compare traits such as karyotype, chromosome number, genome size, gene order, codon usage bias, and GC content to determine what mechanisms could have produced the great variety of genomes that exist today. For recent overviews, see Brown 2002, Sacconi and Peasel 2003, Ben Fay and Protopapas 2004, Gibson and Muse 2004, Reese 2004, Gregory 2005. Du Duplications play a major role in shaping the genome. Duplication may range from an extension of short tandem repeats to duplication of a cluster of genes, and duplication of entire chromosomes, or even entire genomes. Such duplications are probably fundamental to the creation of genetic novelty. Horizontal gene transfer is invoked to explain how there is often an extreme similarity between small portions of the genomes of two organisms that are otherwise very distantly related. Horizontal gene transfer seems to be common among many microbes.
Also, eukaryotic cells seem to have experienced a transfer of some genetic material from their chloroplast and mitochondrial genomes to their nuclear chromosomes. Recent empirical data suggest an important role of viruses and subviral RNA networks to represent a main driving role to generate genetic novelty and natural genome editing. In fiction, works of science fiction illustrate concerns about the availability of genome sequences. Michael Crichton's 1990 novel Jurassic Park and the subsequent film tell the story of a billionaire who creates a theme park of cloned dinosaurs on a remote island with disastrous outcomes. A geneticist extracts dinosaur DNA from the blood of ancient mosquitoes and fills in the gaps with DNA from modern species to create several species of dinosaurs. A chaos theorist is asked to give his expert opinion on the safety of engineering an ecosystem with the dinosaurs, and he repeatedly warns that the outcomes of the project will be unpredictable and ultimately uncontrollable. These warnings about the perils of using genomic information are a major theme of the book. The 1997 film Gattaca is set in a futurist society where genomes of children are engineered to contain the most ideal combination of their parents' traits and metrics, such as the risk of heart disease and predicted life expectancy, are documented for each person based on their genome. People conceived outside of the eugenics program, known as invalid suffer discrimination, and are relegated to menial occupations. The protagonist of the film is an invalid who works to defy the supposed genetic odds and achieve his dream of working as a space navigator. The film warns against a future where genomic information fuels prejudice and extreme class differences between those who can and can't afford genetically engineered children. This is brought to you by The Praetorian, on both YouTube and Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.